Have you ever looked at a sparkling diamond, its facets catching the light and scattering it in a dazzling display, and wondered where it came from? What journey did it take before it ended up in your hand, or set in a beautiful piece of jewelry? For centuries there was only one answer deep within the earth, hidden far beneath our feet waiting to be discovered. These natural diamonds formed under immense heat and pressure over billions of years, brought to the surface by powerful volcanic eruptions. Each stone is a time capsule, a fragment of Earth's ancient past, but today there's another answer, one that's changing the diamond world forever. That brilliant diamond you admire might have been created not in the depths of the Earth, but in a modern laboratory, using cutting-edge science. Scientists now replicate the Earth's conditions to grow diamonds using advanced technology. In just weeks or months, they can create what nature took eons to form. So the diamond you see could be a marvel of nature or a triumph of human innovation, each with its own unique story and journey. Both paths lead to a stone that is chemically and physically identical. To the naked eye, and even under a microscope, they are virtually indistinguishable. This isn't about real versus fake, it's about two origins, each with its own story, value, and meaning for those who wear them. Science has given us a new way to create nature's masterpiece, opening up possibilities for more ethical and sustainable choices. The journey of a diamond is no longer a single path from the Earth's mantle to a jeweler's case. Now it can begin in a laboratory, shaped by human hands and ingenuity. Now it branches, ancient geology or cutting-edge science, two roads both leading to the same sparkling destination, does your diamond represent the raw power of our planet, or the brilliance of human progress? Or perhaps it's a symbol of both. Let's explore the science behind both origins, and discover what makes each diamond truly remarkable. The answer might just change how you see that sparkle, and what it means to you. In recent years, lab-grown diamonds have exploded in popularity, transforming the jewelry industry and capturing the imagination of a new generation of buyers. These dazzling stones created using advanced technology are now found in jewelry stores around the world, offering a fresh alternative to traditional mined diamonds. More people are choosing them for engagement rings and other jewelry, thanks to their affordability and accessibility. Couples can now explore a wider range of styles and sizes making the dream of owning a beautiful diamond more attainable than ever before. Lab-grown diamonds typically cost much less than natural ones letting buyers get a bigger more brilliant stone for their budget. This price difference means that shoppers don't have to compromise on quality or size, and can focus on finding the perfect piece that truly speaks to them. For many, especially young couples starting their lives together, this is a game-changer, opening up new possibilities for meaningful purchases and memorable moments. Visually, lab-grown and natural diamonds are identical, same fire, same sparkle, same brilliance. Even expert jewelers often need specialized equipment to tell them apart. You can't tell them apart just by looking which means buyers get all the beauty and prestige of a diamond, with none of the guesswork. This has made lab-grown diamonds a practical, attractive choice for those who want luxury without compromise. Ethical and environmental concerns also drive this shift. Lab-grown diamonds avoid the environmental impact and social issues often associated with traditional mining. Today's consumers want to know where their products come from and how they're made, seeking transparency and responsibility in every purchase. The story of a diamond created in a lab appeals to this modern mindset, blending innovation with tradition. It offers an alternative to the complex history of diamond mining, providing peace of mind for those who care about the planet and its people. Price, beauty, and a new story are fueling the rise of lab-grown diamonds, making them a symbol of both progress and personal expression. The market is changing, and fast. As technology advances and awareness grows, lab-grown diamonds are poised to shine even brighter in the years ahead. Let's clear up a common misconception. Lab-grown diamonds are real diamonds. They're not imitations like cubic zirconia or moissanite. Both lab-grown and natural diamonds are pure carbon arranged in a unique crystal lattice. This structure gives diamonds their legendary hardness and sparkle. Whether formed in the earth or a lab, if it's pure carbon in that lattice, it's a diamond. Major gemological institutions grade lab-grown diamonds by the same standards as natural ones. The only difference? The grading report notes the origin. Science confirms. Lab-grown diamonds are genuine. Their realness comes from their atomic structure, not their birthplace. Think of them as diamonds with a different origin story. It's a triumph of science, creating perfection atom by atom. 
lab-grown or natural, both are pure crystallized carbon. How do scientists make diamonds in a lab? It's a precise recipe using carbon and cutting-edge technology. The first method, high pressure, high temperature, HPHT, mimics the Earth's process. A diamond seed and carbon are subjected to extreme heat and pressure, growing a new diamond layer by layer. The second chemical vapor deposition, CVD, works like 3D printing with atoms. A diamond seed in a vacuum chamber is showered with carbon-rich gases, which break apart and deposit carbon atoms onto the seed. Both methods build up a diamond, atom by atom, over several weeks. The result? Gem-quality diamonds, virtually indistinguishable from natural ones. These processes are feats of engineering and physics. They transform basic carbon into one of the world's most beautiful materials. Science has mastered nature's recipe. The only difference is the setting, deep earth or high-tech lab. That's the brilliance of modern diamond creation. Comparing earth-mined and lab-grown diamonds reveals fascinating contrasts and similarities. Natural diamonds form over billions of years. Lab-grown diamonds take just weeks or months. This speed translates to cost lab-grown diamonds are often 30-50% less expensive. Mining natural diamonds involves massive operations and a long supply chain, adding to the price. Lab-grown diamonds are made in controlled environments, streamlining production and reducing costs. Chemically, they're identical, pure carbon in the same crystal structure. Both score a perfect 10 on the Mohs scale and dazzle with equal brilliance. Visually, even experts struggle to tell them apart. Environmental impact is a key difference. Mining disrupts land and uses water, while labs use significant energy. Each method has its own footprint, land or energy. For buyers, it's about which impact matters more. The choice is personal, shaped by values and priorities. Two diamonds, two journeys, one stunning result. Imagine a gemologist faced with two identical diamonds, one mined, one lab-grown. To the naked eye, and even under magnification, they're virtually indistinguishable. Simple observation isn't enough, advanced scientific tools are required. Gem labs use machines to analyze growth patterns and microscopic inclusions. Natural diamonds often have tiny traces of other elements like nitrogen trapped over eons. Lab-grown diamonds may show different growth patterns or contain metallic inclusions from the chamber. These clues are invisible without specialized equipment. Experts might use ultraviolet light or spectroscopy to determine origin. For most people, telling the difference is impossible. This reassures lab-grown diamond buyers, they're getting a stone equal in beauty and durability. The secret of origin is hidden deep within the diamond's atomic structure. Only science can reveal it. For everyone else, the sparkle is all that matters. Lab-grown diamonds are often seen as the greener choice, and in many ways, they are. They're created in controlled environments far from the ecological scars left by traditional mining. But is the story really that simple, or is there more beneath the surface? Traditional mining disrupts land, causes deforestation, and uses vast amounts of water. The process can leave behind massive pits, destroy habitats, and even displace communities. These impacts are visible and long-lasting, changing landscapes for generations. Lab-grown diamonds avoid these direct impacts, no giant pits, no displaced earth. The process is cleaner on the surface with no need to dig deep into the earth or reroute rivers. But growing diamonds in a lab is energy-intensive, requiring extreme heat and pressure. These machines run for days or even weeks, consuming large amounts of electricity to mimic the natural forces that create diamonds underground. If that energy comes from fossil fuels, lab-grown diamonds can still have a significant carbon footprint. In some cases, the emissions can rival or even exceed those of mined diamonds, depending on the energy mix used. The industry is responding by shifting to renewable energy, solar, wind, and other clean sources. This transition is crucial for reducing the overall environmental impact of lab-grown diamonds. Some producers now certify their diamonds as created with clean energy. These certifications help buyers make informed choices and encourage more companies to adopt sustainable practices. This addresses the main environmental drawback of lab-grown diamonds. By using renewables, the industry can significantly lower its carbon emissions and ecological footprint. For eco-conscious buyers, it's important to ask about the diamond's energy source. Not all lab-grown diamonds are created equal and transparency is key to making a truly green choice. The choice isn't just mined versus lab-grown but also about how the diamond was made. The story behind each stone matters as much as its sparkle. Both options have environmental trade-offs. 
There's no perfect answer, but understanding the full picture helps you make a decision that feels right. The greenest diamond is the one with the cleanest story. It's about more than just the stone. It's about the journey it took to reach you. Ask questions and choose what aligns with your values. In the end, a truly green diamond is one that reflects both your style and your commitment to a better planet. Millennials and Gen Z are leading the shift toward lab-grown diamonds. Price matters, but so do transparency and ethics. This generation researches products and values knowing the story behind what they buy. Lab-grown diamonds offer a clear scientific origin, no mystery, no conflict. They avoid the stigma of blood diamonds and unethical mining. Environmental sustainability is also key, many seek out diamonds made with renewable energy. For younger buyers, lab-grown diamonds represent smart, ethical, and forward-thinking choices. It's not just about tradition, it's about values and the future. These diamonds tell a story of innovation and responsibility. For many, that's the story they want to wear. We've explored both the ancient and modern journeys of diamonds. Natural diamonds are miracles of geology, lab-grown diamonds are marvels of science. Neither is better, just different stories and values. The choice is personal ancient romance or modern innovation. If you love the idea of a billion-year-old treasure, choose natural. If you value progress, ethics, and sustainability, lab-grown may be for you. The most beautiful diamond is the one that means the most to you. Its value comes from your story, not just its origin. Science has given us more options, now the choice is yours. Whatever you choose, it's a brilliant decision.